Hi everyone, I'm Guy Lohmann and this is Renan de Oliveira. We are the authors of the paper Tourism and Passenger Air Transport, a Horizon 2050 paper published by Tourism Review. I am a professor in aviation uh, at the Griffith University and also a leader of the cluster The Future of Aviation at the Griffith Institute for Tourism. And I'm Hannah Oliveira, a recent graduate from Griffith University with a PhD thesis on econometric analysis of airline strategic network design. In this opinion piece, we sought to provide academics and practitioners with a synthesis of the history of the air transport industry in the last 80 years, from the establishment of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, with a focus on trends and technological advancements, its relationship with tourism, with a discussion of determinants and externalities of this nexus, and a perspective of the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic on the industry. Given the importance of the United Nations agenda for sustainable development, we describe initiatives currently undertaken by industry actors towards achieving its 17 goals. We also provide an overview of what needs to be done and what will likely be expected by 2050. As you read the paper, you will see that the main takeaway message from this piece is that it is unlikely that sustainability goals, particularly net zero, will be met by 2050. As safety in the sector is paramount, it's very likely that it will be amongst the last sectors to transition to net zero, as a new technological breakthrough will take time to be tested. Moreover, net zero is also unlikely to be achieved with technologies such as sustainable aviation fuels and energy efficient aircraft alone. As we know, while aircraft short haul flights are a reality on some routes, long haul flights remain a greater challenge at the moment. Moreover, aircraft with old technology designed for 15 to 20 years lifetime span are still in current production. Policies fostering new technologies and mandating passenger contributions are needed, not just technology innovations, particularly considering concerns surrounding the availability and scalability of low carbon biofuels. Furthermore, behavior should be studied and better understood and influenced while the industry shouldn't rely too much on the promises of potential technology advances as a panacea to these hovering sustainability issues. We hope you enjoy reading the paper.